Hello. Okay. So the thing that I'm going to talk about, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that was intentional. I know what I'm doing. So uh, the so we have. A, so how many of you use third? So everybody is a JavaScript developer. So I'm. I'm. I'll start with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many of you use third party JavaScript libraries on your website? Pretty much everyone, right? Yeah. And how many of you have a problem at times that, oh, this library is creating some problem in the production and I want, I want to switch it off, but how many of you have that problem? There's no way to switch it off, right? You, it's there, it's out there in the production and unless you do a production release, it's not, it's, there, you, you cannot solve for it. So uh, in my team, uh, we have come, came up with a solution for that. And what I call it as a plugin framework for your uh, website, it's, it's a JavaScript framework. Again, <laughs> it's not using any backbone or Angular. <laughs> so so it, what you do essentially is uh, the first load of your application, you take out all the configurations from the, from the server that you want to run any particular uh, plugin or any third party library called let's, let's say google analytics or you are running a site catalyst or you are running any other analytics on your website so what you do is you you load the configuration in the first load which can be cached, cached on cdn can come from anywhere and then you based on that all your website code is you have your, all your third party plugins are safe coded inside that and when you are running in the website and you see that okay some analytics is breaking your page in the production, you can just switch the, uh, the the configuration that is coming loading in the initially. You can just switch it off, and what will ha result in that your plugin will be is off from your website. You can fix it in the next release. Till then, your customers are not seeing that issue. So you don't have to do an immediate patch release. You don't have to do anything. All you need to do is load that in the initial con and the config JSON. Pretty much, I have taken it from gruntfile.js. I was inspired by gruntfile.js, and I have written that configuration in that way. So you can write it whatever way you want to. But uh, the idea was that you have a simple config which can tell that you want to switch it on, uh, anything on or off, and it loads in the first go, and you're done. So you now don't have to do any patch releases for this. So this is how we did it. Any, there's no query, right? So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am writing a plugin npm for that. So I'm. I want to. The intention is to put it on. For an npm with a plugin. Anything else? Yeah. Name of? I have not decided the name. My name is Pratik Mandlo. You can follow me.